Yo, 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 what's going on guys? It's your boy Joey and we're back on another beautiful day in the neighborhood. In today's video, we're gonna be going down to the ditch with an old pair of shoes and we're gonna be turning them into a fist trap. Yep, you heard me right, a fist trap. And I bet you it's gonna work. We're gonna get some bread, we're gonna put them in the shoe. We're gonna, here, I'll show All you. Right, guys, so we're back with a hospital sock. It's the only thing I could find. And the idea is, I just dropped the sock. Wasn't supposed to do that. The idea is we loosen the laces up and then put the sock over the part you put your foot in. Ooh. And then, yeah, open it. And in theory, the fish should be able to swim in, get under the tongue, right? Get in, get under the tongue, and not be able to swim back out because they're too dumb. But before we go down to the ditch, we're gonna feed the bass. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so I think today's gonna be the first day that I start training my bass. And the first move I'm gonna make to start training them is to make them work for it. That's what I wanna do. I wanna make them work for it because I don't want him to always think that he can just get it. Okay, so let's make him work for it. All right, guys, now that everybody's fed and you know what we're doing, we're gonna head down to the ditch and try to see if this thing will work. I bet you it will, and if it does, we're gonna bring them back and we're gonna feed them to the clown knife and we're gonna feed them to the bass. So stay tuned. Let's get On the it. way to the ditch, we got our bread, we got our traps, and we got a bucket. Let's go get them. Guys, we're here at the ditch and we got our bread. Come here, let me show you something. We're gonna ball the bread up real, real small. Look, throw it in. Watch them attack, watch them attack. Get real close, get close, get close, get close. Get close. Can you see that? Get close. All right, come on. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the bread inside of the shoe. We're gonna crumble it up, crumble it up, crumble it up, crumble it up. Put the bread inside the shoe. Now, I already told y'all guys how this is gonna work. But I'll tell you again if you didn't hear me. The bread goes inside of down here. The fish are gonna come inside of here, swim through the tongue, and get trapped. Till the sock comes in. We're gonna put the sock around the top of the shoe so the fish can't swim back out of the big hole. And then we're gonna put the shoe down in the mud like this. We're gonna let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes. Then we're gonna come back. We're gonna see if there's any fish. All right, so the key part in this is me sticking it down in the mud. Actually, let's move it down a little bit deeper than the last one. Oh, all right, that should be good. We're gonna come back in about 10 or 15 minutes. Look how many there are, oh my God. Goodness, that's insane. Oh my, can y'all see that? Oh no, our suit came up. Let's see if we already have any. Let's see if we already got any. Hold on, let's see. Let's see. Do we? I don't think so. 
don't. Not yet. But I'm sure we will. Sock on there. Barely. And then turn the tongue sideways. Let's put some more bread. Put some more bread. Squish it down in there. I feel like it needs a little bit more. A little bit more bread. And let's just sit it sideways in there. Nice and good. Just like We'll that. see y'all guys in 15 minutes. While we're waiting, walk down the ditch and pick up stuff and see if we can find anything like crawfish to go back and put it in our tank. What we're looking for is stuff like this right here. See that bag? They hide under that during the day and they only come out at night to eat. Let's see if we get one. Nope, nothing. Is there anything? Do you see anything? Nope, nope. Do you see anything? Did I miss anything? Let's see. Is there anything? Hold on. Let's dump it out. You see anything? Nope, nope, I don't. There's a little fish right here. I bet you that's the world's smallest fish. I bet you I can catch it. Do it. Yep, I got it. I can feel it. I can feel it. Come on, come over here. I can feel it. I can feel it. It's been 15 minutes, and we're going to try to get these traps, but we can't let them see us. Let's do it. Come here, come on, come on. All right, we got some, we got some. Hold on, let's look through the bread. I seen some, I seen at least one. So that means we caught something. We caught something with the shoe. So that means we caught a fish with nothing and we caught a fish with my shoe. You wanna try it again? You wanna try it again? I think we do. Let's do it. Now in this round of trapping, we're gonna try again, but this time we're gonna flip the tongue. So they got two ways to get in and they can get in through the shoe string. Actually, we gotta set up the socks. So twist the tongue and let's put her in. Twist the tone and put her in. Oh, let's put her up here. So we're gonna give that about five minutes to marinate. This was not really in there that good. Ah, get it in there real nice. This one's not in there good neither. Get that in there real nice. So See y'all guys in five minutes. So we're here with our bucket. And we're gonna try to get these traps. We're gonna try to get these minnows. Oh. Let's see what we got, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh no, I don't want all that. Is there any here now? Oh, oh, they're jumping. They're jumping. We got some. Oh my God, I can't believe it actually worked. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jumping, they're jumping. Oh, come on, guy. I can't believe it worked. Shoe trap. Anybody could do it. Just use the shoes on your feet. 
Let's get home and sort through them. Let's see what we got. Pulling out of the ditch and I gotta hold my shoes out the window. You feel me? They're soaking wet. They might dry up a little bit. Actually. But we only live like 30 seconds from the from the ditch, so it's okay if people see us with, with shoes. See y'all back at the house. Back at the house. We got a white bucket so we can see clearly. Let's get in here. Let's see what we got. Let's pour some of the water out. Let's pour the water out, pour the water out. Ooh. There's our first one. All right. Come here, let's pour them in. All right. Now, let me go get a net. Come here, let me show you. Let me show you. We got minnows. Oh, look, we caught a shrimp. Oh my God, we caught a shrimp. We caught a shrimp. We caught a shrimp. Wow. What? Oh, did you see that one? Look at that one. Dude, this one's got stripes on it. Oh, this is the least killing fish. This is the least killing fish. Oh, man. That thing is for sure going in the tank. That's three species. Three species of fish. Three species of fish. Oh, and the molly. And the molly. That's four. Four species of fish caught with shoes. Caught with shoes. I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. We're going to go inside real quick and show y'all the beautiful babies that we got out of the ditch for our fish tank. All right, guys, we're back. And we've got our wild-caught aquarium fish ready to be put in the fish tank that we bought yesterday. So let's put them in. Let's see if our... our our buddy likes his new friends. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put all that stuff in there. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It might be okay. It might not. I'll do water changes. I promise. Plenty of water changes. Everybody should be okay. That's it for the video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Go to my Instagram, Bass Pro Joe FL. If you want to see more videos like this, go down and comment. I still need a, a, a name for our little guy right here. I think his name should be Goldilocks, or her name should be Goldilocks because she's got red hair. You know what I'm saying? But whatever you think it should be, go down and comment, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Peace.